can't get it back. Dylan Hunter won't let him. George hoists oh. it up and hits his fourth three of the game. A little tougher cover for him. It, uh, it's got the length and to bother his shot. George rocket. Big battle for the rebound and a save for the Canes, and here they come. Confidence right there for Boots. Shot clock down to seven. Keyshawn George, a deep three. Barry! And this has been a Miami team not known for their defense this season, but it's looked very good in this first half against Boston College. Good seconds to shoot. George in attack mode, working on Madsen for a double team. Oh. He's the leading scorer against Virginia with those six made three-point field goals. And Heels fans love the timing, right, as we close in on the NCAA tournament. First, the ace entered number one in the country. And, of course, anytime you think about Houston at number one, and not that they haven't been there before since, but it always takes me back to the Fox Lama Jamma. Boy, look at right in the hands of Joe Bay. Here's George again around the back. George wants to heave up a three. Got it. Full court defense. There's another one. Picked off. George will turn and fire. Got it. A three-pointer. Dongo to the UMass transfer. Tafara Gapari. Keyshawn George knocks down a three. High 12 assists. Our triple-double watch here at the Dome. George again into the body of Beth. All by himself, Keyshawn George. Eight foot pass, one of the basket. <laughs> George from Joseph. Spot up three is good for Keyshawn George. Go Cleveland Poplar and the man of the hour, Nigel Pack. It'll be the freshman George. Nine assists tonight on 12 made field goals. Award he has a lot to do with that. He defends and uses his length, and he's first pass. George driving on Danny. He's going to. Amir wanted it. Here's Cleveland. George wide open. And he knocks down. The really likes that hook pass, and he's thrown three of them away tonight. George a three. He should finding them along the baseline, finding them off penetration. George, the theft. The patience. And. Wide open, George. It's good. Let's see if that becomes a factor on the offensive glass. Reed and Carr on the front line for the. As a team, Miami, 37% from the floor. George trying to improve that. Fouls. He's got the score in the game. George, three pointer. Got a little too cute on the dry on the break that time. George lining up a three. Dead, but he had that final shot. Inside George, what a feat! Often spin the other way, dribbles right and spins. Miami can get some steals there if they're alert to it. George open in the corner and hit. Hall's got a height advantage on Omir, but Omir and Hall is strong, but Omir's in a hole. Points and he said ACC championship final four. I mean, he just he blurted it out. George from the those 17 you mentioned against Stonehill, the uh, best he's had for Miami, not his career on. Eat. But it's just the fact that from a positional size, he's at a disadvantage against the guys he'd be playing against. He's shot. <laughs> While Mellis has a torn labrum and Muser has a foot surgery scheduled for next week. So rebound cleared by the Canes. Here comes Miami looking for its ninth win of the season. Last game was last Saturday. They won at Lafayette by 16. Keyshawn. They got to get him involved. The freshman Keyshawn George takes it himself. And that'll An opponent. Smart basketball play. George for three. He sticks it. Omir, who just had his pocket pick. Heard and lost it again. George is. Huge team. You're right. Very true. It's about as big as they could possibly get. And, you know, they're 6'7", six, 6'6". Six, six, you know, and the Wolko's obviously got some size to them. But if you were going to put the biggest very third, buckle up, baby, and grab those shoelaces and yank them a little bit tighter. Let's watch them. That's the key. Nobody was in a gym. You had no idea where I was. But I had a ball. We'll see you soon. And, Dave, that's not Dick's house. It's Lorraine's house. Oh, that's no He's lie. He's kind enough to let Dick live there. As soon as he caught it. Tough drive in traffic. 
Or Chad O'Meara back in the game. Gets rid of it to the corner. George! Shot no good. Matthew Cleveland with the rebound. Numbers for Miami. Four on three. George wide open three. He'll try it again. Miami's hit just two of their last ten. George. Foul line leaner. Good. Mark Cleveland pulls down the miss. George spins. That's going to be a goal. Second, that ball's either shot or they're swinging the ball. Excellent offense early by Georgia Tech. George. Mid post, low post. And he, we saw him out there and shoot around, running around. He looks like he can still go get a double-double. Uh, again, the message received uh, that was given by their head coach. George gets free. Up, and he's already got more blocks and assists than he had all of last season. Keyshawn George. And he curled it right in the middle of the lane. That is a difficult shot, but his stroke so compact. And I don't know if that you had to guess matchups at the beginning of the night. You would have thought this is where Gerard would be, but this is where he's been. Handoff for Joseph. Thought about it. Deep one for George. And he hits it. They're trying to get the ball into Shefflin and take advantage of the size that he's got on Cleveland, but they haven't really been able to do it. Clemson's so far had the advantage from the foul line. George keeps his toe down and buried. And this Miami Hurricane team, when he dropped those 33 so much so that they put size on him this game. George will fire. Nice touch off the court. Great story. Big time numbers, too. Here's George out of the corner. Yes, sir. George driving it around. Barron. Scoop shot. Yes. And a direction. Well, NC State plus four in the turnover margin, and typically Kevin Keith's teams do turn. For the Canes, and I think as he matures and gets stronger, that George is going to be a terrific rebounder. And at one point, had 16 of 20 points put on the board by Pitt. Poplar saves it in the corner, and there's only a second to go on the shot clock for George. Easy layup. Yeah, before that, Corey, the Irish had missed nine of its last ten shots. Coming out of the timeout, they get a good look. Not a for the hometown fighting Irish. Patrick Mahomes going squaring off in the AFC Championship game. That's a big deal. George throw it up to the rim. Game. Miami's largest lead was eight. Syracuse's largest was two. Keyshawn George back on the floor. Remember he picked up the foul. Come back out there for Coach Larinaga. There's O'Meara with him. Cannot give up extra possessions. Bensley Joseph improving the game to game. A shot clock inside five. Poplar from the corner. The top of George. He wrestled it away from everybody. And aside from the shooting, George doing a nice five in the glass. But he can spin, pivot on drives. He's got that deep range. And there he is again. Bodies all over the place underneath with Hall and O'Meara. Boy, George can really speed up the court. Can when our bosses say you've got a game in Miami, I uh -oh. Anybody says no. Conference play starts. Well, it's already started, but picked back up. Right after the new year. He gets a little frustrated when they take him out with his first foul. And you saw there Jim Laranega talking to him. One showcase. Four games today. We have two on our networks. St. John's and Boston College to follow us. O'Meara. Inside Casey from George. Sitting courtside. What do you want to see from these guys right now, Jack? What are you looking for? You want to see them to play unselfish Miami basketball. Barnes has an excellent team, and Dalton Connect, who transferred in from Northern Colorado, has been their best player. Got it outside. For Matthew has to shoot that first shot. George with a shot fake. Here's Cleveland for three for UCF on Monday. There's a takeaway. Wide open on there. Pilper with a finger. Joseph to Nowoko. Little cut by George. Wooga Poplar a three, and that one is. Great points in the game to open up a six point Florida State lead. Keyshawn George with the turn. He has knocked down three threes. Great pass. Oh, man. A couple of starters into this game. It's going to be straight uphill. They may need a miracle. And Meyer staff, uh, led by assistant Carl Hobbs, they do a great job working with these young players. You see now in Jim Laranega's circle of trust. Here's George over to Joseph. Lays it in. And now let's see if Miami can push. 
Poplar, deep three. Got it. Wolfowski on George. He can drive him. Poplar. Last 17, one of the two losses was to Pitt when they didn't have Roach or Mitchell. Keyshawn, George, one of the top freshmen in the conference to North Shadow Mir. Matthew Cleveland with Ian Shefflin on him. Really, Miami's got four guards or four perimeter players around these to go. R.J. Godfrey has checked in for Ian Shefflin. North Chad O'Meara running the catch for Hall. And what they're doing is extending the catches. George ahead to Cleveland, who's... It is seven as Pat penetrates. Keyshawn George. Pat gets a clean look. Pat has his... Dongo to Kelly Block. The duel to Nickel. Nickel wants the paint. That's Is that 42 inch mm -hmm. vertical. He hadn't dunked for a few games after the ankle injury. Got one against. Paint just makes them a difficult out. Warley blocks. Here's Collins. Padula spinning through against George and got it slapped in this game with five. Hildreth. Ricky's has got to try to take advantage of his bigger player, but shout out to George just sliding with him, playing well defensively. Oh, Sam Rain. In fact, earlier this year, during a shoot around for an opponent, one of the players lead. Kelly's got 25. George takes. Proctor with Ryan Young was just waiting. For Norchad O'Meara to put the ball in the well, a good ball pressure there by O'Meara. Tough catch for Hall. And what they're doing is a duel to Nickel. Nickel wants the paint. That's slap. Padula gave up the dribble and gave up the Sean Padula. Minute 38 to go. Blocked by George. Somehow he got it back to Leggett. Shot clock at six. The U back in front 42 40. I'm pass it poked away. Five on the timer. Burton has it poked away. Good defense. Dak Prescott in that conversation. Uh huh. My two favorite quarterbacks, Lamar and of course Patrick Mahomes, going squaring off. Some floors that's worth four. In his first four conference games at the free throw line. Padula now trying to get away from a double team of George and O'Meara with eight to shoot. And he threw it away. Addition, finding them along the baseline, finding them off penetration. Now with 19, he is the high scorer in the game. Backdoor take. Came up to defend the ball. So back in a half court for Colorado with a nine point lead.